Welcome everyone to another episode of Le Flutter, where we have an exciting last couple episodes where we are at war with the French for the control over this little country of Brunei. It basically was a gigantic crisis that morphed into a great war where they're going to start gaining negative war score against it, which is going to give us major advantage over them and possibly give us the advantage of actually being able to rip apart even more people from their spheres. Now, I was thinking maybe I should add Romania into this massive alliance, but I feel like if I do, they're going to just bring us down. Like, no offense to Romania, but I feel like if I bring them in, they're just going to be like, herp a derp herp a derp we're dead. I'm going to be like, uh, Okay, so, I don't believe I'm going to do that. However, I do want to include Ireland into this war, that way that we have more people. Chile somehow wants an alliance. Well, thank you, Chile. And... Yeah, we're going to see if America can fight this war for us. If not, we're going to have to... Yeah, you guys are now winning, so... Damn. Even with very likely, they dis they did not disagree with me. Okay, but anyways, let's see. We have a lot of different French troops around. This is the biggest one. I'm really scared of this one. And a lot of different navies. Hopefully, I'll be able to get there before this navy comes and kills me. And yeah. Seems like we just already defeated all the French armies around here. Cool. That was quick. <laughs> uh, and I don't know what America's going to be doing, but hopefully they'll be sending out their big fleets to go destroy everything. And I'm going to keep trying to get Ireland in on this because I think it'd be really good for them to be in on this. And we're not going to call in any of my allies over here in Africa because, well, if I call them in, I'm pretty sure they're going to get oversworn with a lot of different French troops. And I really don't want that to happen. Because look at all this. They're just basically surrounded. Um, and if they try to go over here, they're basically dead. Because my Indian vassal will destroy any kind of French armies that come. We're even invading... Wow, we're even invading Malaysia. Okay. Okay. Let's see. And then the Philippines are in on this war. Philippines. Yeah. Wow. And then over here, the Ottomans are invading... And over here, I can get some more stuff for my people. What do you guys want more? You guys want extended subsidies? Really? Huh. That's really weird. You guys wanted that more than you wanted actual good, like, less paychecks. Okay. Find me. Cool. Okay, let's go destroy all these armies. And then what we're going to go do is go group up with that army. And then we're going to go destroy this army. Because that's the final army they have over here. And once we destroy that, then we basically have all of Africa underneath our control. Which is basically, I think, the only steed that we're actually going to have in this entire war, if I really do think about it. And my vassals, hopefully, will go all siege up these islands. And I own Bermuda. I just realized that. Do I own the Falcon Islands? Or do they still belong to the British? Oh, yes! I conquered the Falcon Islands! Yeah! All Argentinian people must be so proud of me now, because I conquered the Falcon Islands. Yeah! Conquered St. Georgia. Have all these islands. Yeah. I don't know what the French... Oh, wow. We're just crushing... <laughs> My tech is hella more advanced than theirs right now. You can almost see me just destroying everything they have. I mean, that wasn't even a competition. Let's see, any hostile sieges? One in Soleil, one in Baku. Okay. And we're going to about to go crushing them. Alright. Ireland. Will you or will you not? Yes! Okay. Now that Ireland's in the game... That should help us out just a little bit, because they actually have a decent fleet. At least they're building up a fleet. And it got crushed almost instantly. No! No, don't destroy my little buddies! Well, hopefully, outshone at the World Flare. Dang it. Okay. Well, hopefully, they'll be able to protect the little island from any kind of Frenchies that try to invade it. Hopefully, America will try to do stuff that will end in our victory. I'm going to probably add a war goal to try to conquer this right here. That way it just, um, it just turns in our favor. More and towards our favor. Uh, dismantle nation. I really want to do this, actually. I really, really want to dismantle the French. Dismantling the French would be, like, so cool. But I think I'll start off smaller, just so that I can make sure I get what I need. Um, Ghana, 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 Ghana. Is Ghana actually a state for them? No way. Ghana is actually a state for the French. 
French Ghana. Wow. Okay. It's gonna call me 3.6. 3.6. Okay. I'm just gonna add that. Right, I'm gonna add this, conquer this. That way, I will all. That way, we always get at least some war score from this. If you guys don't understand what I'm doing, is that I'm basically making sure that we get some war score no matter what happens. That way, just in case if I somehow mess this up, which you know could happen, I'm not gonna deny it could happen. I'll, we will always get some war score from some of these sieges that I'm doing, which is what we need to kind of do because we need to because we need to kind of make sure that we conquer most of these places. Okay, let's see. That ended that battle. Okay, what we're going to do is going to divide up these things. Go siege up the rest of these coastal provinces because that's what's giving them most of the... Holy moly, that's a lot of people. <laughs> wow. Um, wow. Just wow. America's over here in Turkey, by the way. That's pretty amazing, actually. I won't deny. And then Ireland's completely geared up for a war with Turkey. And yeah. Yeah, we're just, I'm making sure that we always gain a constant amount of war score no matter what. So we're going to try to take out little tiny provinces that they have so that we can own it. Oh, good job, Guatemala, from being free again. Huzzah! And, yeah, basically, if we want to do a dismantle nation against the French, which I don't mind about doing. Let's see, and so that should be giving us battles wise we're losing. Um, dang it. Hate battles. Battles are like the worst thing ever. Okay. And you know what? Let's go destroy that one big army because that army is going to annoy me. Let's go also destroy this army right over here because that army is going to annoy me too. This should be enough to defeat this. Once I destroy this, I'll go destroy that. And then we should be good on that continent from all foreign threats. Let's see. You guys, you want to join in my little crusade against the French? The France? Yes. Okay. And let's see. Excellent development. Okay. We're going to get war score for that. And also, I'm going to add a war score. Dang it, I can't add it yet. Okay, this is why this is why I didn't do anything yet. Okay, we're also going to take out those guys. Yes, take out them. Take out their army. Alright, whoops. Oops, no, no, whoops. I pressed shift key I pressed shifty keys too much. Okay, let's go right here. Let's go right over here. We're gonna need I think we're gonna need a bigger army down here. <laughs> okay. Alright. So that means I'm actually grouping up a big majority of my army. Wait, I actually have airplanes? Does that mean I'm actually building stuff? No. Still not to this day building anything. What the heck, people? What the heck? I keep reopening my factories for you guys, and you guys still don't do anything for me. Meh. Okay. But we do have a couple different of our troops. Just stay right here, because we're going to go get more troops from the mainland. Because we need to... I am going to make sure that we can corner and destroy this army. Without much difficulty. Also, apparently the Kenyan occupation is not working. Oh. Because we didn't unpause it. I was like, wait, why isn't this working? This should be working. We have, like, a ton of troops right here. Oh. Portugal, you want to be in on this war too? Sweet. Okay, as many people as they will allow me to get in on this war. Yes, everyone will have to bow down to me. Alright, and still there's a lot of... My South, Amer my South African countries are still not ready for war. I can only tell you that off the bat. Um, looks like we have control over this, but I'm not entirely sure. And it looks like Beijing China somehow won? What? So Beijing China just won the actual... What? How did they beat Chi... Never mind, I'm not even going to ask this because it feels like this is... I feel like this is a question that needs to be reserved for a different... Yes! Okay, Portugal now entered the fray. Which means they're going to be attacked. I guess we could call in you guys, but... Well, actually, these guys have my tech, so they should be, like, hella powerful, but all those soldiers right there are really kind of scaring me. I don't think the the, the, the Portuguese are not going to be able to handle this very well. I don't believe they will. Okay, and let's see. We're going to go get our troops over here. Yes, we are. Okay. Ooh, man, this is, a, this is a tense fight. If they... 
if they actually get to the point where they can actually start enforcing their demands, I'm going to be scared. But they're also going to start losing major war score here very, very soon, which is going to help us out a lot. So we're going to transfer all these guys right over. You know, let's go conquer Freetown. Yeah, so we need to make sure we own a good African base. We're going to go destroy that 100 stack of army. 88k now. Once we destroy that, then we can safely go and attack the rest of Africa without much interference from the rest of the world. Which is exactly what we need to do. We need to do that. Okay. Ah, oh, no. No. Uh. Okay, what's it made of? Yeah, it's, it's made up of really powerful ships. We're not going to be able to do it. Okay, um... Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Retreat. Ah. Uh, French are now scoping out this place. Okay. We could go try. I'm not against it. I just don't think we're going to win if we attack now. Ooh. But we do have a way more powerful... As it's been shown, we have a way more powerful army than they do. It's just, I'm not sure we're going to be able to defeat them. We'll try it, though. We'll try it. Oh, wow, we're, sl <laughs> we're slaughtering. Dang. Wow, we just... Ah, dang it. Well, that's gonna that's gonna cause basically the defeat of my men. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. This is still, this is still anyone's battle, even with the uh, advantages. Okay, let's see. Can we sneak past them? Just go, like... To my island right over here. Let's go to this island right here and then try to sneak past him. Okay. And let's see. Oh man, come on, come on, come on. Come on, my troops. Slaughter! Slaughter as many as you need! Slaughter them all! Yes! Good! Good, Liblatians! Kill those Frenchies! Yes! Yes! Okay. Somehow we just pulled a win out of our butt right there, people. I don't even understand. We just did that. Um, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, good. We dropped off our men before we had these guys go on a suicide mission. Good. Okay, then I'm fine. They can go. Those ships can go die. As long as those men survive. That's all I cared about. And now, whoa. That was an expertly fought battle. Okay, um, Africa, I think I'm going to get a little bit more troops into your area, pump a little bit out more, and anything else I can pump out in Africa, because I really can't do much. Just get out some horsemen, and we'll see what we can do with those. Ooh, I can't believe I just beat the French. Wow, we just, the amount of men we just slaughtered, man, the amount of men we just slaughtered. Okay. Yeah, I know. We just lost the battle. Okay. Battles are not exactly going to be won by us, but at least we're soon going to have a war score of both this and that coming at them. We're getting a war score from that, which is good. And... Seems like they're keeping us back from conquering any more of these islands. America should be dealing with this, actually. This should be America's, like, duty to, like... Oh my goodness! But even attacking over here. Okay. Portugal, I hope you guys can deal with it. I have no clue. Oh, dang it. They have like multiple armies over here. Let's see. Can my troops actually be able to defend against these guys? Okay. They are def. Wow. We are defending against a lot of Frenchies. Come on. Slaughter. Come on. Kill faster. Kill faster. Kill faster. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did! Wow! They really killed faster than they could... Wow! This is why you have tanks, airplanes, and everything, people. Because this just... I just literally... What is this army composed of? Wow, this... We literally just slaughtered a couple thousand people. In almost one of the worst battles I think the French are ever going to fight in their lives. I mean, they had us outnumbered, and we just literally took them out and squash them oh my goodness. we should be able to honestly that should give us a lot of stuff right there I mean seriously we just like 
there we go let's go right here so most of the coastline is now basically unprotected or I should say it's protected by us oh my goodness that was awesome <laughs> Oh my goodness. Also, I don't trust the sea now. So let's see. Let's see. How big is the army of the French? The French have 80 ships. Austrians have basically nothing. Because they're less than 23 and that's less than me. I mean, I have 44 ships, but they're all basically transports. America has 109 ships. Japan has 219 ships. Goodness gracious, Japan. You scary. Okay. Let's see. Now, I'm basically going to let this unit heal for a little bit because it's a big unit and it could basically heal. And if it heals, it'll basically create an even bigger unit. But wow, man, we just took out literally a great amount of Frenchies. I'm pretty sure you guys are dead. Like, if you guys could get out of this war, that would actually help us a lot. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. What are we losing about? We're losing mostly battles and defenders occupation. Well, luckily, the good thing about this is that I'm the war leader, so I'm not going to piece out of any of this. And if they just get out of, um... Well, if rebels have risen in Ireland, right now they're both, they're mostly, like... They're actually, like, uh, very strong right now, so I'm not really worried about Ireland. Let's see, they're going to build, I'm going to let my troops build up their strength before I go start conquering back all of Africa again. And, see, this is why I conquered all this first, was because I need to make sure I got one war score going against them. So even if they try to fight me, I'm not going to let them win. Or even if they try to think, oh yes, we won, I'm not going to let them beat me. This war, honestly, this war might drag on for the rest of the game. But I really don't care, because I'm not letting them beat me. We are not paying war in different days. Yes. Democracy, man. Democracy. Okay. And America is just basically sitting there, like, doing nothing. They're like, twiddly doo you we're not going to do anything. While in Africa, we just... Oh, my goodness. Okay. More African... More African little French armies. Rest, brave soldiers. Yeah, you seriously deserve that one. Let's go right there. Yeah, you see, we just basically control all of the... Oh, dang it. Man, Austria just somehow did a major counter-offensive. I don't know where those troops came from, but they're basically destroying my new-made troops. I'm going to run away because I don't want them to die yet. And we're going to try to reinforce our other brethren over here in Africa. Let's see. Ooh, there's three armies that I can see from the... From the looks of it. Let's get you guys in a good, kind of good position. Combine with these guys. Okay. Well, let's go try to see if we can go. Let's go see how strong the Austrians are. Because I've never tested the Austrians' might before. I have 67k. With pretty good amount of morale. Oh, they're Swiss cheese. They're Swiss cheese. But I'm losing a lot more men because I don't have as good as men as I usually do. Also, I'm fighting in basically really good land because this is all my land. Okay. Alright. Go destroy the rest of these guys. Also, if I could, I'd like to prioritize this unit. Yeah, just destroy all these guys. Hmm. Yes. Alright. There we go. Want a couple battles right there. Whoa! That just, like, jumped me up really, really quick. Okay, um, now that I'm starting to win this again for some reason, some explicably strange reason, I'm going to pick something that I already can conquer really easily and start adding a war goal against it. War score. Let's see, um, probably should have to do with something in India, just because I have a lot of good Indian land. Let's see, what's that region called? Um, Bombay. Okay, so France, I'm going to add the region of... Quiet Nation of Bombay. Oh, is that French Bombay? No, I was about to say, is that actually, you actually control that? Okay. So we're going to start, what we're trying to do is we're trying to start a catastrophic event where they basically don't own anything. And it just, all these war scores that we keep adding against them just adds up and adds up and adds up and adds up and adds up until like, 
you know, they can't do anything. And they won't be able to invade that place because that place is underneath major lockdown. Well, well thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.